10 Best Deer Resistant Shrubs for Landscaping Boxwoods buxus are broadleaf evergreens, meaning they have broad leaves like deciduous plants but keep their leaves in the winter. This makes them a very popular choice for hedges. They're fairly low maintenance, except for an annual pruning to maintain their shape and remove unhealthy portions. As a bonus, boxwoods contain alkaloids that are distasteful to deer. Juniper varieties are members of the cypress family and give off a heavy fragrance. And because deer have a sensitive sense of smell, they tend to dislike any plants with a strong odor. Juniper generally is low maintenance, simply requiring some pruning to control its growth. Blue Star Juniper, Juniper schemata, Blue Star, is a small, slow-growing, rounded bush that is a good choice where a bluish accent is needed. Meanwhile, Blue Rug Juniper, Juniperus horizontalis, Blue Rug, often serves as a ground cover on hillsides. For a different look, try the Fitzer Chinese Juniper, Juniperus chinensis, Fitzeriana glauca, which is commonly shaped into pom-poms. You get a 3-for-1 deal with Arrowwood Viburnum, Viburnum dentatum. This deer-resistant shrub bears reddish fall foliage and bluish berries in addition to white flowers in the spring. It grows to roughly 6 to 10 feet but can get even taller in the right conditions. Prune the shrub once a year after it's done flowering to control its height. This shrub also will spread, so remove its suckers if you want to keep it contained in one area. Andromeda, Pieris japonica, is a dense, flowering, deer-resistant shrub. Although it is an evergreen, it looks best in the early spring when its showy flowers bloom and give off a powerful aroma. This smell is what makes deer recoil and avoid eating the plant. This shrub is fairly low maintenance, simply requiring pruning to keep its shape, though it should be protected from cold winter winds. Bluebeard or the blue mist shrub Caryopteris blooms in late summer at a time when relatively few bushes are flowering. This shrub is a favorite of many pollinators, and it's drought tolerant. But while bees and butterflies like its flowers, the plant's heavy scent repels deer. To keep the plant well-shaped and flowering, cut it back by about half in the early spring. Also, prune dead and diseased parts as needed. Russian sage, Porovskia triplicifolia, which is technically a subshrub, has bluish flowers with silvery-gray foliage. It is drought-tolerant and deer-resistant. The plant spreads via underground runners and does not require much maintenance besides some pruning to keep it looking neat. Although the butterfly bush, Budlia David E., is considered invasive in many regions, it also can be a striking addition to a landscape. Some new cultivars, such as blue chip, have few seeds or are seedless, making them less able to spread. These plants are magnets for pollinators, hence their common name, but deer tend to avoid them. They also require little care. Pruning is optional if you wish to keep the bush compact with more prolific flowers. Some gardeners even choose to trim the stems down to the ground in early winter to give their landscape a cleaner look. In general, shrub roses are good plants where deer are a problem due to their thorny stems that deer don't like to eat. Candio is a favored variety known for its fragrance and vibrant coloring. It produces beautiful blooms for most of the summer and will attract many pollinators to your garden. In general, prune roses in the early spring before blooms start to show. Remove dead, diseased, and overgrown wood to promote better airflow, which helps to prevent pests and diseases. Bayberry, Mirica pennsylvanica, is native to eastern North America, and it's a deer-resistant shrub you are more likely to see in the wild there than in people's yards. It is the fragrance of bayberry that deters deer from eating it. The plant also is tolerant of drought, erosion, and salt. It's generally low maintenance, though you might have to remove suckers to prevent new plants from spreading where you don't want them. Carol Mackey, Daphne, Daphne ex Berquity, Carol Mackey, is a variegated bush with extremely fragrant flowers. Its fragrance is one of the true delights of the spring garden, but the aroma and poisonous berries are distasteful to deer. The berries also are toxic to people and pets, so take care when planting the shrub. This plant is somewhat difficult to grow, as it requires a delicate balance of soil moisture and sharp drainage. Some shrubs might die without an obvious cause, so choose a planting area that allows for easy removal if necessary. Thanks for watching.
subscribe for more interesting videos and please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.